Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a while since I made a video. Um, I've been pretty busy doing other things. I haven't really been feeling like recording. I went home and left my computer back at my dorm, so I wasn't able to do that. But now I'm back at my dorm and trying to push this video out. But many of you guys are probably wondering, and I personally want to make this video just to address the issue or address the differences between these two weapons. But we're going to be looking at the AK-47 and the AK-12. As you can tell in game they're exactly the same thing. The damage, stats, all the stats exactly identical as one another. And I honestly want to see what is the difference between the AK-47 and the AK-12. I'm probably going to be looking at the reload speed, now I'm going to show the inspections of both guns and what the weapon comes with. The laser sight, red dot sight, suppressor and all that good stuff. And honestly, just see how the weapon is. So first off, we're probably going to kick this off with the reload speed and just the long and short reload speed. Well, when I was looking at it, they both exactly have the same reload speed. The animation might be different, but the way they did it is that they might, I think they made the AK-47 just have a longer animation and make it seem like it's a bit longer but the AK-12 AK-47 have the exact same reload speed and it's just basically the same thing so the stats are point accurate on it when it comes to reload speed. The reload speed you're going to be looking at 2.57 second reload speed for both AK-12 and AK-47 so in the end they have the same reload speed and there really isn't much a difference so you're going to be looking at the same thing for both weapons. Now here's the inspection for the weapon. They both have a unique inspection for each of the weapons. I personally like the AK-47 more as he takes his left hand and he holds the grenade launcher unlike the AK-12 where he just holds it with one hand and just shows the weapon off. The AK-47 has more of a field view of the AK-47 and makes it actually look a bit better. I wish that animation did something like that with the AK-12 so you can see more of the weapon itself but other than that they're both cool animations but me personally I like the AK-47 inspection better than the AK-12. Now for the fire rate of both the weapons they do the exact same thing I'm gonna show you on screen right now but both of them have the exact same fire rate they both fire at a really slow pace compared to other rifles in the game they have like that slow but yet moderate fire rate and I honestly don't know why um, the devs decided to make the AK-47 and the AK-12 had the exact same fire rate and the exact same stats. Me personally knowing that the AK-12 does fire a 5.45 round but instead they make it fire the 7.62 round in this game. Um, they could have made it different and make the AK-47 not the AK-47 the AK-12 perform a bit different a bit more accurate with less or moderate recoil like the M4 but I mean I guess I guess they just want it to be the same so yeah the fire rate's the same so you're gonna be looking at the exact same fire rate when it comes to the AK-47 and the AK-12. Now what does the AK-47 come with or what does the AK-12 come with that the AK-47 does not? Well both the weapons come with a suppressor. The, M the AK-12 comes with a typical suppressor that you could be that it can be seen on other rifles like the M4 ACR it has that type of suppressor but the um AK47 comes with a Russian suppressor I forget what it was called I think the PSH suppressor something like that but I know for sure it's a Russian suppressor which makes it a bit more authentic and a bit more has it has its own thing to it so the AK-47 does look better with its own suppressor unlike the AK-12 it's kind of sad the AK-12 doesn't have that suppressor or something that made it unique but AK-47 AK-12 still the same thing perform better it is just for the look but for the looks it counts a bit more when it comes to AK-47 now for the grenade launcher the grenade launcher I think they're exactly the same thing as the GP I think 35 grenade launcher but I know it's the GP grenade launcher. Um, the AK-47 has a more um, old look to it compared to the AK-12 that has a more modern look to it to the GP grenade launcher. But they're exactly the same thing. The, I think the animations are a bit different, which hopefully I'll have footage on screen right now. They're exactly the same thing. Um, the fire the same grenade launch around just different different animation. And then finally, the AK-12 has a laser sight and a red dot which is different the AK-47 comes with iron sights and with iron sights in black squad I don't really understand why but when you aim down with the iron sight it it's actually a bit higher from where your iron sights are you're just looking 
like you're not even looking at the rear sight, you're looking at the front sight, and that's the same thing with the M45 or the 1911. You look at the front sight, you just ignore the the rear sight. So I don't know, they probably did that for gameplay experience or gameplay wise, but it's kind of weird. So you just have your typical AK-47 iron sight, but for the AK-12, what you do have is I think it's a PEG-15 on the right side, but you get laser sight for sure. So you have a laser sight. So that's a pro when it comes to the AK-12. You get that layer sight to show your teammates where you're pointing at, or if you're just trying to point at whatever you're shooting at, you have that in your disposal. And it comes with a nice Cobra sight with, uh, I think, a green red dot. A green red dot Cobra sight, which is good. So that's also one thing that the AK-47 does not have, but the AK-12 has. So if you like the AK-12 and you want a red dot, I suggest you go with the AK-12. Me personally, I did better with the Cobra Sight compared to the Iron Sight. And other than that, that's the differences of what the AK-12 and the AK-47 have and what they have in common and what they don't. Now one thing I also want to top off is, is the damage for the AK-47 and the AK-12. They do the exact same thing. At, at, their, um, at their most effective range, which is usually probably, I can show on screen right now when I was testing it, from their effective range, they're able to get a one-shot headshot, which is what the AK-47 and AK-12 is known for, is their one-tap ability to get a one-shot from that distance. Once you start going back from it, you start doing at least 97 or at least just 90, so you're still doing a high percentage of damage to your enemy. You're still able to inflict, like, like I'm talking about a lot of damage. Um, other rifles in the game don't have that one-shot potential or even doing at least 90 damage to your opponent so you're looking at a high damage when you're just using the AK-12 or AK-47 but that's one thing that is a pro when it comes to AK-12 and AK-47 but they do the exact same damage nothing changed the exact fatal damage the exact same headshot damage the exact same range everything everything's the same so the stats are true everything's the same on AK-47 and AK-12 so, now honestly for my opinion of each of the weapons or both of them um I think Black Squad or the devs just decided to put the AK-47 in there and just copy and paste the AK-12 and put the stats on the AK-47. I think the reason why the AK-47 is in there is because it's such an iconic firearm when it comes to talking about guns in the world. When you first think of a weapon, you think of the AK-47 or the M16. So that's probably why they have it in there. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't um, really be shocked if they do add an M16 later on into black squad but that's probably the main reason why it even says it in the description that the k47 is more of a collector's item and that's why i personally got the ak-47 is because it's an ak-47 man come on you guys just you just got to take it um when it comes to performance they're exactly the same but i think it usually is depending on your user preference me i did better with the ak-12 because it has that red dot and i just had a better feeling and connection to it because it just it has more of a modern feel compared to the AK-47. The iron sights did throw me off a bit. I can't really perform that well with the AK-47's iron sights compared to the AK-12's Cobra sight. I did better with that. It's probably just because I was able to um, transition from targets faster. And I just had more comfortable feeling when coming with the red dot sight. And plus the laser sight also, you know, the skate made me aim better because there's that there's just that red dot in the middle of your cross here. So personally, I did better with AK-12. I do like using AK-47 at times because it just has that iconic look and that iconic feel of an AK-47. So in the end, guys, when it comes to AK-47 and the AK-12, they're exactly the same. User pick, pick which one you want. AK-47, no laser sight, no red dot, but it's an iconic weapon and super old and nostalgic so if you guys want something nice and able to collect get yourself an ak-47 but if you guys want a little bit something a little bit modern with a cobra sight and a laser sight get yourself an ak-12 but either way they're kaleshikov rifles and you're gonna you're gonna own one anyways you're gonna have one anyways so either one pick one they're exactly the same and they'll do what you want to do with one shot headshots at their effective range so just take one so i hope you guys enjoy this video um i'll be back making more videos soon more black squad other things who knows just catch out for it and if you guys want to check out something check out my mp7 review 
my personal MP7 review that goes in depth about reload speed, ADS, damage, and my personal review on the fire rate of the MP7. So it gives you guys a bit more tips on how to use MP7 or what attributes and how the MP7 mp7 perform so there's a link right now in the end of the credits of this video so click down there it should be in the middle of the screen but click it so you guys can get just you know in depth of the mp7 and also go a little bit of the history so you guys should you know be interested in that a little history of the mp7 and one round it fires and all that good jam stuff so until then guys i'll catch you guys later and peace out